The prophetic is a privilege of every believer. The same way everybody can cook, you have access to the kitchen, but there are people called chefs. Am I right on that? Yes. Those people are specialized. If you want to cook for kings and the rest, they are the people to call. But that does not mean everybody has the privilege of a kitchen and to cook there. This is how it is. There are people called into the office of the prophetic. He gave unto some apostles. He gave unto some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. To what end? 12. For the equipping, perfecting, maturing of the saints. For the work of the ministry and for the edifying of the body of Christ. 13. To the point that we come into the unity of faith of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. But know this for a certainty that if you ignore the prophetic, either the prophetic that comes from scripture, the prophetic that comes from the inspiration and the guidance of the spirit, or the prophetic that comes from the voices that God has placed over you, you will never be able to command greater works. Jesus, the first dimension of the prophetic at work in his life was the very fact that he was the word incarnate. He was the word himself. Yet, from age 12, he went to the temple to learn scripture, to find out the things that were written concerning him, to learn the law. Number two, the Bible tells us that Jesus himself, the Holy Ghost, came upon him. Are we together? After he was being baptized of a man, a prophet again, called John. And then the Holy Ghost came upon him. He went to the wilderness and so on and so forth. And all through, John only met him once and did not meet him again until he died, as recorded in scripture. But the Holy Spirit remained with Jesus until the time that he was about to perform the substitutionary sacrifice where he had to leave him so that he would become sin. That's why the, the same spirit that came back on the third day and raised Christ from the dead, meaning he was not in him. Jesus would never have died with the Holy Spirit in him. When the Bible says he gave up the ghost, he was not just talking about the Holy Spirit left Jesus right from Gethsemane. He was not on the cross. He left Jesus right from Gethsemane. That was the cry he was crying let this cup pass over me. It was not the cup of death. He already announced he was going to die. For the first time, the triune Godhead will be separated. 